All right, let's take a look at how to use InDesign to set up a storyboard template. I'm going to do a four up here in a 16 by 9 ratio. So we're going to go ahead and create a new document here. And we will do letter. So that's print. And there's our letter option. And we'll do it wide so that uh, if it were bound, it would uh, be along the top edge, for example. And we're also going to turn off facing pages, uh, which just is going to make it look a little easier to deal with on screen here. It's not laid out for printing uh, like a book side by side. So hit create there, and we've got your basic 8.5 by 11 with looks like about a half inch margin there. All right, so uh, to do four up, we would have two columns, and uh, we can start by setting that up. We go out to layout margins and columns and we just change that column number to two and I think uh, we'll want a little bit wider gutter here to make that look more even let's see what a three looks like and that's um, a measurement I think pikas so if it doesn't make much sense to you that's because it's a print thing and we don't use it much okay next would be to create uh, what's going to be our screen shape here now I'm going to make a default 16 by 9 uh, widescreen image here. This is really important. This is where we designate the aspect ratio of everything that we're going to do up to this point, or from this point on, I should say. Um, and you know, drawing something that fits a 235 aspect ratio is way different than drawing something that fits a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So think of aspect ratio as um, if it, to use a, a rock analogy, what, what guitar are you playing? Is it an acoustic guitar? Is it an electric guitar? Is it a Stratocaster or, or is it a Fender, a Gibson? Is it, and each of those has their own sort of tone. And by choosing those things, um, we're able to do, sort of be able to speak differently with the shape of the frame. So I just dropped down to uh, anything here and I have an aspect ratio that is not anything common so I will go 16 by 9 and that's kind of small but uh, we can change the size of that by selecting our arrow tool and while holding down the shift key and the command key together click and drag until we get that to fit the space available I'm just gonna butt that up into the upper left corner there and scale it to there just to I'm trying to fit it just right there it's just a hairline off because it's kind of a thick uh, thick line. In fact, we can change the thickness of that line. It looks like it's about a two-point line. Uh, we can make it too even, or we can go super chunk. Um, if you're hand-drawing stuff, you might l enjoy having the, the beefier line. I'll just put something like a two in just so that it's kind of neutral back there. Now we can see that uh, we'll be able to fit two up easily, so I'm going to just copy it to the clipboard. Our side by side is no problem. Let's see what the top to bottom layout looks like. No, we got plenty of room there. I'm um, I'm interested in maybe dividing this page in half, um, but it's in pica, so I don't really know what the middle of that is. So I'm going to drag down my ruler. You'll notice that while I have my move tool selected, I just grab up inside the anywhere inside the ruler to make a new guide. And as I drag it down to the bottom, I see it's 51 points. Uh, tall. So half of that would be 25.5. So I missed that by just a nugget there. And I can key that in exactly 25.5. Oh, and I moved my uh, object there, which is probably great because that's where I want it. 25.5. Must be a, an uneven number, so it's not letting us do that. Now I can copy and paste his buddy over here. Now what I've done here was to actually lay those out on a page, and that's fine. You could take this page and duplicate it um, as many times as you needed. But let me show you how to set up a master, which is uh, maybe even better for something like this. Okay, we've already done this design work, so we don't want to lose it. So what we'll hop onto here first to go to our pages um, pop-up here that can be found right there if uh, it's not open for you currently you can also go to window and pages and there he is right there 
and uh, we'll actually select our number one here and we'll go to master pages save as master and right now it's calling it B master that's fine if we look at uh, let's edit those masters a master is here and B master all those things that were on our page are currently applied there so watch what happens if we click out of that with a double click onto our page one here and we'll just delete our stuff okay so now we've got a blank page uh, maybe we have two pages here ready to use so what we'll do is let's select them both and then we'll go up here and we'll go apply master to pages and which master we're going to use that is the B master and now I've got that on all pages and anytime we make a new one uh, looks like it's remembering our choice so we've got that there and ready to go what's great about a master is we can't manipulate that that background stuff is there to stay so we don't have to worry about picking it up accidentally and uh, wrecking our layout um, also if we're going to use uh, text here we can put our text directly in directly the text goes in and by uh, making a text box first it will fill the space between those gaps pretty nicely so we could say things like uh, this is a medium shot the man approaches and then that's the description of it there maybe we can number these things and so on the only thing that might make this better would be we talked about uh, what if we were binding it up on this top top edge so yeah maybe everything in the master slides down let's see what happens if we pop up here and edit that slide everybody down a notch so it gives us uh, our three hole punch space up here at which point we probably want to move our little uh, get the ruler up put in our sort of text box areas again uh, the only reason to have the guides would be that the um, text boxes you draw them will uh, align with those perfectly and uh, let me close that let's take a look yeah and it updated um, my text didn't bump down but uh, I can do that manually it looks like I might have a line in my document here yeah it's remembering my old uh, guide so I can just drag that out and now I've got more space maybe more space for text if I want it and room for the bind up top there so presumably something or three old punchers would go right there and so on so it should be clear for us. Oops, I got more holes than I, I like. I need another hole in my page there. Boom, 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 boom. So those are ready to go and ready to duplicate. It's going to be the same on all three pages and uh, forever. So if you like that binding, you can uh, add that to your uh, initial design as well. All right, and in the last part of this, let's make this master totally usable for the future where we'll be placing uh, stills, possibly ones that we've drawn, possibly ones that we've taken photos. And in the uh, case of our first assignment, uh, stills that we've grabbed from a video, something that we can place automatically and have them fit. All right, so I have my 9-up master here. I'm going to go back to my master and double-click on it, so I'm editing it. I'm going to use something called frame. Uh, you can bring that up with uh, by merely hitting the letter F. And uh, once I start drawing these, I'm going to get it so that it fits my frame exactly. Notice I've turned on the checkbox auto fit before you draw any more make sure that auto fit is on if you can't find it there you can also I believe go to object fitting frame fitting options and set it there say okay to that and it's currently set to fill proportionately so I'm gonna draw a frame it's gonna put a little X in each of those and uh, just to save a little time I will copy those to the clipboard command C paste them on down so I only have to do that work three times instead of nine times all right and those should all have auto fit if you've drawn them and auto fit wasn't selected you should be able to turn that on by just clicking right there all right now theoretically I double click on my first page there so that's ready to go I'm gonna hit command S because I think I've got it right um, if I need to make more pages, I can just hit the little new page icon and I can continue to add to that. But let's go to that first page. I'm going to place some stills that I've grabbed using VLC. 
and I should just be able to go bang, 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 and they fit as fast as I can click. And that's a good thing. It's a very good thing.